Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Katrina and my job is to help you speak and read Mandarin Chinese with confidence and joy. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about how to use zhou in Mandarin Chinese. So without further ado, let's get started. The first way to use zhou is zhou plus verb or zhou plus a statement to emphasize. For example, you could say 我是 Katrina. So it literally just I am Katrina, 我是 Katrina. Versus you use 就 我就是, 我就是 Katrina You see the difference? By using 就 you're emphasizing that you are 我就是 Katrina Another example, you could say 这是我的家 This is my house, this is my home 这是我的家 Or you can use 就 by saying 这就是我的家, 这就是我的家 So you're emphasizing that this is my home Next one is a very commonly used one It comes with e something something 就 something something So the something something here is action I'm talking about So e action one, 就 action two It's usually translated as as soon as For example 他一下班就回家喝啤酒 他一下班就回家喝啤酒 So there are two actions here 下班 finish work and 喝啤酒 drink beer So as soon as he finish work he drink beer immediately 一下班就喝啤酒 我一打开课本就想睡觉 So in this sentence 打开课本 is action number one Open the textbook 想睡觉 meaning feel like sleeping or sleepy So it means that as soon as I open the textbook I feel sleepy 我一打开课本就想睡觉 The next one is using 如果 something something and 就 something something So it is translated as if something happened then we will do something. For example, 如果明天下雨,我们就待在家。If it rains tomorrow, 明天下雨。So if this situation happens, 我们就待在家。Then we stay home. 待在家 is the second condition. So if the first condition happened, then we decide to do the second condition. 如果明天下雨, 我们就待在家。如果我中乐透,我就要环游世界。If I win the lottery, then I will travel around the world. So first condition, 中乐透。And if this happened, 我就环游世界。Travel around the world, this is the second condition. 如果,就,就,就。Here you can switch 如果 to 要是。So you can say, 要是明天下雨,我们就待在家。The same as 如果明天下雨,我们就待在家。Also, you can use the structure 既然 condition 就 an action or condition 既然这是你的决定,我就尊重你。Since this is your decision, then I respect you. 既然 since, so it's different from the previous 如果, right? So, 既然 since 这是你的决定 Since this is your decision 我就尊重你 Then I would respect you 尊重 meaning to respect 我就尊重你 既然你不想去 我就不勉强你 既然 since 你不想去 Since you don't feel like going 我就不勉强你 Then I won't force you 勉强 is to force someone doing something Next structure is using 只要 as long as plus condition 就 and the result For example 只要努力就能成功 As long as you work hard then you can succeed 只要努力 So 努力 is the condition Hardworking as long as you hardworking 就能成功 Then you are able to succeed it 只要你考100分 我就请你吃饭 So 你考100分 
you get a hundred on your test. 一百分 meaning a hundred score, a perfect score. 只要你考一百分 if this happens, 我就请你吃饭 Then I will treat you a meal. 只要你考一百分，我就请你吃饭 Treat you to a meal. The next one is using 不是 action. 就是 action structure. 不是就是他周末不是休息，就是和朋友见面。休息 is the first action, the first thing, right? And 和朋友见面 meet with friend is the second thing. So he is either resting or meeting with friends on weekend. 他周末 weekend 不是休息 ，it's not resting， 就是和朋友见面 or meeting with friends。这件衣服不是你的，就是他的。你的 your， 他的 his。This clothes is either yours or his。这件衣服不是你的 ，if it's not yours， 就是他的。Then it's his. The next one is, I think, a little bit advanced. It's to talk about to do whatever you wish or you want. The structure is 想哒哒哒就哒哒哒 Okay, let me give you an example. 你想吃什么就吃什么，别客气 It's literally translated as you would like to eat what, then you eat what. Don't be polite. So eat whatever you want to eat. Don't be polite. 你想吃什么 So as you can see, that 吃什么 is verb plus question word. E what? 吃什么就吃什么你要去哪里就去哪里不用问我 You can go wherever you want. You don't have to ask me. 你要去哪里 You want to go where? 就去哪里 Then you go where? Literal translation here. So, 不要问我 Don't need to ask me. Okay. The next structure is using 该什么什么就什么什么 It's very similar to the previous one. It means that you do whatever you should. For example, 你该做什么就做什么 You should do what, and you do what. Literally. 你该做什么 Literally translated as, you should do what. 你该做什么就做什么 Then you do what. So you should do what. Then you do what. You do whatever you should do. Okay. 你该做什么就做什么 Or 你该说什么就说什么 You say whatever you should say. So literal translation is, 你该说什么 You should say what. 就说什么 then you say what. So you should say what, then you say what. Say whatever you want to say. The next structure is by using verb 了就 verb 了 You might be thinking, what is that? So this expression is to express that when something has already happened, you have no power to change it. So you're just like, okay, just let it be what it is. For example, 杯子坏了就坏了，再买个新的吧。杯子 the cup, 坏了 So 坏 here is a verb. 坏了就坏了 So it's broken, then it's broken. 再买新的吧 Just get another new one. 杯子坏了就坏了再买个新的吧火车走了就走了我们等下一班吧火车 the train, 走了就走了 So literally means walk, but here means to depart or left. So the train left, and then just let it go.、Um, we just wait for the next one. 火车走了就走了，我们等下一班吧 The next one using 就 is to talk about something happened earlier than usual or than you expected. For example, 我平常八点起床，可是今天六点就起床了。I usually get up at eight, but today I got up at six. 我平常八点起床 ，get up at eight， 可是今天 ，but today， 
六点 six o'clock 就起床了。I got up six earlier than usual. 他两岁就开始学英文了。She started to learn English when she was two. So two is very early to learn a foreign language. So when I say that, I'm expressing that this age is earlier than expected or than usual. So I would say, 他两岁 two years old 就开始学英文了 and started to learn English. I know it's a lot to learn today, and、uh, you can replay this video as many times as you want to learn with me. And if you want to learn further, make sure you click the link in the description and check out how to become my official student. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share to people who need this information. Thank you so much for being with me, and I will see you next time.